We're almost there. Huh. Nobody can get higher than us. Watch out. Anthony! Anthony! Wait! How do you climb so easily? Even with weight? And we're out of breath already. My grandpa taught me this. Oh, I'm tired. Grandpa, why don't you ever get tired? Hmm. It's because I've been training since I was a child. A lot? How much is that? Every time I climbed the hill, I took a rock with me. And when there were many rocks, I became strong. Look. Oh, wow. Can we train with you? Won't you change your mind? It will be very hard. Yeah. No! Ah. <sighs> Well, well. Every day they're climbing the hills with rocks. I must find out why. Here we go. One more rock. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I caught you. <sighs> why are you climbing the hill every day, huh? We are training. We want to be strong like Anthony. Will you join us? I don't want to. I'm busy. Uh, it will take them forever to carry one rock at a time. Uh, I can do better. Uh, I'm genius. Uh, uh, one more step. I'm here. That's Sam Sparky. We must help him. <laughs> Pour out the rocks. I can't do it! Turn the arrow. Why did you pick up that many rocks? I wanted to get strong fast. But when you're hungry, you don't eat for a year ahead, right? Yeah, because you can burst. But I would never burst. Well, of course. You do train every day after all. Don't worry about a thing. I'll reveal to you all the beauty secrets I know. 
Wow, you look so beautiful. Let's take a picture together. Right, let's go. We're late. Hi there, Vera. I'm not Vera. Vera, hello. Hi, Vera. But I am Wendy. <laughs> well then, my dear and precious trains, I'd like to remind you that at the end of our masquerade ball, we're going to conduct a costume contest. Oh, Vera, that's a great costume. You can surely win the contest. <sighs> I'd like to declare that the costume contest has begun. Please meet our contestants, Vera, dressed up as uh, Vera. Sam Sparky, dressed up as a pirate. And of course, our dear, lovely Mrs. Dove. And the winner for the very best costume goes to... Oh. <laughs> Wendy! Ha <laughs> ha! In her champion costume! <sighs> hey guys! Have you seen Wendy anywhere? We came in together, but where is she now? Hey, is that your friend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me, with my very best friend. Hey, Wendy, I've been looking for you all day. Wow. Hey, Vera, who's this beauty in the picture here? Yeah, so what's her name? <laughs> uh, it's a secret. So, what's this, a festival? The Lantern Festival, it's so beautiful in Train Town. Vera, you made a really good festival. Here are the instructions of how to make a lantern. The Lantern Festival, all my dreams will come true. Why is that? Didn't you know? People put lanterns on water and make wishes. I will create a giant lantern. My biggest wish will come true. I'm going to go make it. No, the lantern must be as light as my wish. Why do you want a contest? You should all just be happy and you shouldn't compete. This is really stupid. To make giant lanterns to have your biggest wish come true. I'd better make many small lanterns to have many small wishes come true. You see how big it is? George will be so jealous when he sees his lantern. <sighs> I'll have the brightest lantern of wishes. Ethan will be speechless when he sees it.
Steve will not be able to sleep if he sees that I made a million lanterns. Oi, oi, oi. Why do boys always spoil everything? The festival will start in an hour and they haven't even finished their competition. Here is my giant. How can I get it to the river? Uh, huh. It's so heavy. How is it going to sail? Oh no! It's falling apart! Well, the festival is ruined because of those stupid boys. Everything's in vain. <laughs> I would never want my friend Vera to cry. I want my friends to never fight. Let the Lantern Festival, which Vera created, begin. I never want my friends to fight. Let my friends' wishes all come true, all of them, the brightest ones and the biggest ones. Well, where did you take the lanterns? According to your instructions, my wish of making a lantern came true immediately. Hey, <laughs> 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 okay, come on. Yeah, pass it over here. Yeah, over here. Send it to me. Let's play. Come on. Over there. Let's go. Come on. Guys, it's dangerous to play in the street. The policemen will be angry. What's wrong? You hurry like there's a fire somewhere. Miss Dove's house is on fire. Uh, uh, give my hose back. You can unroll that thing, and we will go to save Mrs. Dove. Mrs. Dove is on fire. Yeah, and she smells so delicious. We, we, we thought your house is burning. Ah, oh, I bought some fresh coal and now I'm making a very tasty barbecue. Ethan, try it. Is it ready yet or not? Thanks. I, I need another piece. May I have it? What's burning here? I wanted to say the barbecue was delicious. Thank you. Enjoy it. Let's make the barbecue for ourselves. I'm so tired of homemade food. Follow me. I know where to get the best coals. Don't you think the, the coal we have picked is too big? No, they aren't. They'll be good. I know it for sure. What is that flat iron thing? And where are we going to cook our food? 
Ah, I guess we'll have to cut it. Ah! Be careful! Ooh. Ah! You know, I don't think I want to eat that delicious barbecue anymore. I don't want either. It became so firm. You know, I would love to have some homemade food. Mom, do we have something to eat? Ethan, I'm happy you came. I bought some coal. Will you help me make the barbecue? Barbecue, huh? Delicious, huh? Oh, look at that. This tree is probably sick, guys. But George, how can you know that the tree is sick? It isn't coughing. And it has no fever either. Trees don't cough. But a midsummer leaf dropping indicates that the tree is not well at all. This is the oldest tree in the train city. It is older than Grandpa Billy himself. Guys, we have to save it. Now let's go to the young gardener store. Oh, something is going on here for sure. Hey kids, where are you going all of you? Hey, do you know the tree that is older than Grandpa Billy? Grandpa Billy? Yes, sure. What's wrong with him? Well, he's drying up! Oh, that's terrible! Grandpa Billy is drying up! <laughs> oh. Oh. Mrs. Dove, when was the last time you checked your brakes? What brakes indeed? Haven't you heard? Grandpa Billy is drying He's up! He's drying up? All of him? I'm not sure if it's the whole body or half, but it's truly contagious. We need to isolate him before he infects everybody. Right. You run to Grandpa Billy and don't let him out of the house, and I will alarm the citizens immediately. Who's there? Nobody. You are dreaming. Sleep tight now. What do you mean I'm dreaming, huh? Sleep tight, you say? I'm coming out there! Oh no! Coming out of bed is a bad, bad idea. The weather is nasty today. Why can't I open the door? <laughs> uh, because I'm holding it. Don't panic. We will take you to the hospital soon, Grandpa Billy. That's it. We will visit the tree every day until it is well again. Let's go and ask Grandpa Billy to give us some flowers to plant here around the tree. <laughs> Kids, run away! Grandpa Billy is out! Huh? Have you seen Mrs. Dove, any of you? Oh. oh, great! You know, you kids are doing well, very well! <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa Billy. Could you please hmm. give us some flowers to plant around the tree? I love the idea! Wait here, I'll bring you flowers as soon as I can! Grandpa Billy, wait! We'll help you! Mr. Police Puff is asking you why you are not at school. What on earth are you talking about? I'm asking, have you seen an infected patient around? Why on earth are you covered with engine grease? Oh, because grease protects from infection. Hey, Vera, Wendy, just look at the flowers Grandpa Billy gave us. Grandpa Billy, now don't fight back. Well, this spread protective grease all over you, and you'll be just fine. I'm perfectly fine without any grease at all, you know. And tell me, dear Mrs. Dove, please explain. Why did you lock me inside my own house when you came by before, huh? Can you tell me that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a hilarious story. It was all my mistake. Yes. <laughs> we are sorry, Grandpa Billy. Ah, uh, never mind. We all make mistakes, you know. Mm -hmm. But look, the kids are doing a mm. great job over <laughs> there, huh? Isn't that sweet, huh? Look. Okay, so we've 
visited the shooting gallery and the panic room as well. Where are we going now? Oh, Ethan, wherever you want to go, but not to that roller coaster. <laughs> hey, Arnold! Why are you so slow, Ethan? The contest is ready to start. What contest, huh? The dance contest. One, two, three. The main prize is gonna be mine. Bye, losers. That's right. Vera told me about it. She's taking part in this contest, George. Let's go. What, Vera? I wonder who's gonna win this contest. My dance is better. I've been practicing it for a month. One, two, three, one, two, three, there. <laughs> My dance is better. Watch this. <laughs> Hi there. Vera. Oh, wow, you're so... Hi. What did you say I am? Uh, did you say I'm beautiful? Uh-huh. Yes, I am beautiful. That's because I'm gonna dance on stage now. And I'll mm -hmm. win the main prize. No, you will <gasps> not. I'm clean and well-dressed. And you're dirty, and not only that, but you're also horrid as well. Uh... They don't give prizes for that. And now we have the great pleasure of welcoming none other than our Arnold to the stage. And you're dirty as well. What do you mean by that? Because all boys are the same. <gasps> Vera, don't touch me, it'll spoil everything. But you have a... Don't stand there like that. You're distracting me. Go take your seats. Just go on now, guys. But wait, it's important. I said go sit down. Arnold splashed her really badly, ah. and she didn't even notice. What a shame. How is she going to dance with that blood on her? I don't care. Why is she so presumptuous? Vera can't go with that blood on stage. It'll be so embarrassing. And because she thinks she's so pretty, everyone's going to laugh at her. She shouldn't have said that we are dirty. But George, if everybody laughs at her, she'll start crying. She'll cry? Because Vera is our close friend. We need to tell her about that blot. Let's go. Then you call yourself my friend. Vera! 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 Vera, wait. Don't go on stage, mm -hmm. Vera. But why not? Just wait. I need to tell you something important. Let me go. What should we do? Vera will start dancing any minute. Everyone will see the blot, and they'll start laughing and laughing at her. Oh, dear. I know what to do. Okay, and now they will see the unforgettable and magnificent performance of our young and beautiful Vera. Vera, please. Oh, oh, that's so delightful to you see that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's wonderful. Bravo, bravo. All right, everyone. And our first prize goes to the one and only, the amazing Arnold. And we also have one more prize, and that is the People's Choice Award. And it will go to our lovely Vera. Oh, where is Vera? <laughs> you ruined everything. <laughs> I tried so terribly hard. I'll be back. <laughs> just look. <laughs> oh, so you were just, you were just trying to help me? Uh-huh. Thank you, guys. You're really true friends. I'm really sorry that I called you dirty uh -huh. before. And our dance, it was really good in the end. Vera. Be presumptuous anymore, uh huh? Oh, here's the People's Choice Award for you. Thank you very much. Mine is yours too, because it should be yours. Because that was me who ruined your dance. No, it's yours. Your dance was very good too. You danced well too. Well, that's great, Arnold. Let's go somewhere to celebrate this, but not to the roller coaster. <laughs> I'm inviting you to see a show of my new invention. The demonstration will take place tomorrow at 9.30 train city time on the old road. Sincerely yours, your friend G. Interesting, who is this mysterious G? Thank you, my friends, for accepting my humble invitation. 
today is a memorable day that, uh, I guess straight away the G means George. You are a very good guesser, Arnold. Uh, I'm sorry, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I invented an engine that works on rainwater and whistle energy. At the beginning, I thought that G stands for general. What an amazing conclusion, Arnold. General. Ugh. Okay, listen up. In order to operate the engine properly, you need to add rainwater and whistle. One good whistle is enough for a 10-minute operation. <laughs> then whistle again. Awesome. George, you're a genius. Oh, well, this occurred to me somehow during the daytime. Is it dangerous? You may rest assured it's absolutely safe. Mm, but you'd better hide on second thoughts, because rainwater together with a whistle is unpredictable. Shall we begin then? I installed the Whistle 1 engine on this trolley can right over here. Let's start the countdown on one, two... I'm hiding! You can start now. Three! <laughs> yay, yay! It works! And this was a quiet whistle. Now please take your seats and get ready. What now, George? I need to test the engine's power to carry packages, that's what. Why so slowly? Can we move faster? The trolley can is fresh and new. <clears throat> I mean, the engine is fresh and new. <gasps> yeah, so what? Hmm. Don't even try. It obeys only to my whistles. Ha! Ha ha ha! Interesting. <laughs> yeah! It's awesome! <gasps> oh no, it's too fast. I didn't <gasps> count on this. Uh, stop it, please! They want to get off! I'm scared! I cannot <laughs> stop it! You see, I only invented going forward. I haven't invented stopping it yet, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> minutes are over. We have reached the, the p -p 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 point of destination. That was scary. Oh, <laughs> boy. Why are we climbing so high? Can't we take a ride on the trolley, Ken? <sighs> thank you, but no thank you. I've had enough for one day. <laughs> Mom! Mom! I'm here! Listen! Mom! I wrote a book! Sweetie, I'm sorry. I really have no time right now. I have to clean the house. Please, Mom. <laughs> Dad! Dad! Dad, hey! I wrote a novel! It's about a hero! Dad! A novel! It's about adventures! Hey, kiddo, could you wait for just a minute? I'm just trying to adjust this small plug here. Oh, please, Dad. Quiet, please. What lovely weather for astronomy this year. Listen, I wrote a book, a novel, about adventures and stuff. True writers write novels. That's what I think anyway. They all have these long, long beards. You know that, right? 
And these true writers are very old, and that's because they've been learning to write novels their entire life. And they all grew so very old by the end of their careers. <laughs> Ethan, come and play with us. No, thank you, girls. I will stand here with you. What are all those papers in your bag? Oh, you mean these? They're nothing, really. Please, please tell us what they are. Oh, please, Ethan. Just tell us already. Well, it's a... Uh, I wrote a book, you know. It's called The Frightless Hero. Ooh, wow. wow, that's super cool. Can you read it to us? Well, I don't know. I'm really not a true writer. Oh, never mind. We want to listen. Okay, listen. It was a gloomy night. A gloomy night in the city. <gasps> It was awesome. It was so amazing. You're a real talent. Oh, wow. We could never write like this, ever. Do you think you will continue it? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is Ethan home? He must be in his room. He's been in there all day. We're a little worried. Tell me, is there anything urgent? Can I leave him a message, maybe? Ethan wrote a book, a great big novel. And he read it to us. And we were thrilled to bits. With the novel, I mean. And Ethan promised to write a sequel. And, and so, so we, we came. came. That's interesting. We'd love to hear that, really. Oh. May I please stand here? <laughs> Over here with you, if you don't mind. <laughs> Quiet, please. The first chapter. <laughs> <laughs> 